uh, and uh, we will be covering today some details about uh, Google Analytics. Uh, a little background about me. Uh, I got my PhD in management uh, with a focus in information technology from Rutgers University. Uh, I then started uh, my own company. I have a number of published patents in the area of online marketing, uh, social media analysis, and uh, uh, my company name is iMedia Streams. We have branches in New Jersey and in Cairo, Egypt. And our focus is on the Middle Eastern audience, targeting for them uh, their ads. So today we will go over an introduction of uh, Google Analytics for marketeers. Uh, just a quick overview. So we'll cover analytics. What is analytics? Why is it important? Uh, then we'll try to understand uh, who are our visitors? Why are they coming for us? Uh, who are they exactly? How did they found us? How did they reach to our website online? And then we'll try to understand how we can segment those individuals differently to better uh, comprehend uh, their behavior and accordingly how we can target them. Uh, by the end of this discussion, we will cover the goals of our websites how we can set them up, and how to think about our goals when we do that uh, on Google Analytics. So the heart of any big campaign that you will see, whether it's Coca-Cola, Walmart, Verizon, here, or international, uh, usually the heart is online. You will find different mediums, TV, radio, newspapers. Most of them are driving customers to get to your website. And from your website, you start to convert them, depending on how you want to deal with those customers, and what is the message that you want to give to those uh, individuals that visit your website. Uh, one of the reasons that online is becoming the heart, a lot of medium now are starting to be becoming more digitized. For instance, TV, press, radio, everything now is getting into the digital format, and it makes total sense to have the, uh, the heart of our communication as online. Uh, a quick overview of analytics as the analytics. This framework I borrowed from uh, Avinash, and Avinash is uh, a gentleman uh, who is pretty famous. In a couple of years ago, he said that the analytic framework starts from the click streams. Click streams is when people start to click on your website. So this is the first part. Then, once we have the behavior of the users on our own website, we start uh, analyzing those streams. How did people interact on our website? For those two sections, we use usually Google Analytics. But after doing that and analyzing the basic numbers, it doesn't give us a lot of information. We still need to dig in more. Then we get into experimenting and testing the results, changing some variables in our website, changing some variables in our marketing message. And based on that, uh, we use uh, Google Website Optimizer or surveys to help us into defining how we can run some experiments or some uh, testing. After doing those experiments, exactly as Chad said a few minutes ago, uh, we need to analyze the voice of the customer. What did the customer think? Do you like the program? What is your comments? That again can be done either by your action, whether people drop, people uh, continue, people increase the enrollment, or people just say uh, their opinion out loud. And that is the most important thing, from my own opinion, when it comes down to uh, websites uh, and voice of customer analysis. After that, there are some tools that allow us to make a comparison between what we are doing and our competitors. For instance, compete.com. If I would like to know how my website is performing versus another competitor in the space, there are some tools that tell me where I am in the industry. And then, after all of those analyses, we get into the insights. What can we do to improve our business from the online perspective? So this is the framework for analytics. In a nutshell, uh, analytics summarizes the activities that occurred on your site, starting from how the vis your visitor found you, till the moment, moment they left your site. So let's try an example here. If I wanted to reach uh, IMC uh, website, uh, I have several ways of doing that. Either I know that there is an IMC weekend, and I will just type the URL, like what I did here. 
or simply I'll just type some keywords on any search engine and probably I'll find the same website or maybe I find a banner or an advertisement somewhere and I click on that ad and I will get to this website so once I do any of those activities I came to the website what happened once my browser opened the, the, the IMC website weekend what happened is a cookie was installed actually two cookies were installed what is a cookie we always hear about cookies a cookie is a small text that is installed on your browser and on that browser it just gets some information about your session how did you came in uh, and some information uh, on that browser that every time you go to the IMC page you will directly find it so here for instance if I search it a simple keyword you will find in the content the keyword uh, organic because you found that by simply searching on Google and then the cookie said you find that website in an organic way on the other hand here when you look at the same cookie but when you went directly by typing the URL in the browser or the address in the address bar you will find that the UTM here is direct uh, so IMC installed some uh, session ID uh, other cookies Google also installed their own cookies that leads me to some uh, terminology that is usually used uh, in Google Analytics most of us might know it but I would rather to go over them because it's a very basic uh, introduction there is something called impression you know when you go to any web page and you see one of those ads appearing on the page this is called an impression mainly you have seen a link or a referring uh, uh, link to a certain website this is called an impression and then you hear the keyword click what is a click when you click on that imp on that ad or that link it's a click once you reach to the web page you have viewed the page it is a page view so we have impressions clicks and, cl and uh, page views we then have something called CTR or click-through rate and the click-through rate is the number of times an ad or a link is clicked upon divided by the number of impressions uh, so for instance if an ad is shown 20 times uh, and it receives three clicks then the click-through rate is 15 percent three divided by 20 and then we have something called session and visit a session is once you open the browser once we open the IMC web page this is a session Google identify a session for 30 minutes if you are idle for 30 minutes then a new session will be assigned to you so this is how we can discriminate between different users and just try to analyze their behavior on our website and each session is considered from Google perspective as a visit bottom line is something called KPI or key performance indicator how can I evaluate the performance of my website and how my user dealt uh, or interacted with my website so that I can measure my performance against the goals that I set to myself in the beginning as Google said uh, in one of their presentation online Google Analytics is done in a way that allows different players to, to interact uh, with Google either you are an executive uh, or a marketeer or a webmaster an executive you are the one who wants to see the big picture a marketeer you're focused on to increasing the performance of your subscriber or your goals with the least cost possible and you need to test different advertising campaigns that will lead to that objective as a webmaster you look at it from a creative perspective how can I make that website more user-friendly so that it still reaches the objective of the organization today we will look at it mainly from the marketeer perspective 